Y'all are going to think that I have lost my mind. And I may have, and it's fine because life's short. Enjoy it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we have a kind of laid back haul. I have quite a few products, but it's only from like three brands. So you guys will see what I mean in a minute, but it is a very exciting haul for me because it is featuring products that are kind of my favorites. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. If you love haul videos, you are gonna love this channel because your girl likes to do some damage, especially when there is a sale. So if you wanna see the products that I picked up in my most recent haul, stay tuned and keep on watching. So we have three brands featured in this haul and these brands had a sale and so I decided to pick up some stuff so much for a no buy. Um, we're going to start with Melt Cosmetics. You guys know I absolutely love this brand. I have several of their eyeshadows and I have some of their face products too. I decided to pick up their, what is this called? The Cream Sculpt Stack. So this is what it looks like. It is in their little stack formula. This is in the deep contour and brightening stack. I love these. I love how innovative it is. I would not recommend traveling with this, but I think it's cute. I have a melt stack. I think it's the rust stack in the eyeshadows. And then now I have this. So this comes with, I love that it has a mirror at the top. That's the first of the stack. And then this is one of your brightening shades, which definitely could be a good brightening shade for me to use as a concealer. Then the next shade is, mm, that's not really my skin tone, but I would be able to use this just under the eyes to cover my under eye circles. And then this next shade is definitely a, that looks pretty contourish for my skin tone, but bronzer contour shade, it gets darker. Is this darker? <laughs> As I say that. So let's look at these two side by side. So this is the one that came after, which it kind of just looks like it's a little more red. This one's a little more neutral, maybe. Interesting. And then this last one, baby. Where are you going? I don't know what I would use that on. Maybe like as an eyeshadow base? I do not know. I'll go ahead and swatch them for you real quick so you can see. So this is the first shade here, which says it's a brightening shade. That is a little on the golden side for what I normally like, but definitely I just stuck my nail in here. A little more golden than what I would normally like to wear for my under eyes. This is the second shade here, which I said could be good just to use under my eyes as a concealer. I really like that shade. This is the third shade here. Oh, they actually say something on the back, but look how deep and rich that is. Oh, that is so pretty. And it doesn't feel super emollient. So on the back of the first one, it does say that is olive and it's a cream highlight. And then the second says brighten. So this is olive. This is Brighton. Then this one says Neutral Blend Contour Cream. Y'all, that shade is so rich. And then the next one is Warm Blend Contour Cream. I think I said those right. Look at me. So that's the warm one there. So you definitely can see a clear difference with those. And then the last one says Deep and they are not lying because this almost looks black. <laughs> Holy crap. She is dark. Where are you going? I mean, looking at these shades, I don't think I need it to go with a lighter one. I think there's a lighter one. I just have no idea what I would do with that shade, but look at the pigmentation still on my fingers. This is that olive shade and then that's the bright and shade and then the other two and then the dark one. So after putting them on my hand, these are still, this is still what's left as far as the product and the pigmentation. 
So up next, this was a cute little gift set. So this is their Warm Nudes Mini Lipstick Set. This was a free gift. I knew it was a mini. I didn't know it was that mini. Like, that's tiny. Like, that's my finger that is tiny. But, I mean, it's cute or whatever. So there's the shade Dilemma, which I should have pulled these out before I even got started. We'll go ahead and swatch these as well for you to see. This is Dilemma here. Very, very, very. Can you even see that? Super light nude. The next one is Shameless. So we'll put her next to the other. So you can see a difference in the shades there. I like that one. The next one is Undercover. So that is that shade there. So I love that these are very, very clearly different shades. We're not doing like 50 shades of the same. The next one is Saucy. So that's this shade here. I'm looking like which one I wanna put on my lips. Super pretty. I haven't had a melt just bullet lipstick in a really, really long time. This last one is called Suntan. Ooh, yeah, she's pretty. Very, very pretty. Definitely enough of a difference in the shades to say this isn't like repeating shades or any unnecessary shades, but again, it was a free gift, so super cute. Up next, I picked up another cream blush light. This one is in the shade Polished. I know that they had this one at Sephora for a while, and I did, I'm pretty sure I didn't pick it up, and then I fell in love with the formula. This is what it looks like, and I was just like, you know what? I think it was like 30% off. This is super emollient, but that is what it looks like right there. So it is kind of like a sheen a little bit but it is a blush i think that is so pretty and i don't have one blush right now not really i'm trying a new product today oh yeah definitely see a sheen you do see the pink but god that is gorgeous oh yes i used to never want to wear products like this because i do have a little bit of texture on my cheeks but i got over it and this is a very, very pretty neutral shade. Yep, definitely glad I picked that up. Up next, I picked up one of their highlighters. I don't think I have any melt highlighters. This is in the shade Gold Ore. I'm hoping this is not like super, super gold. Oh, wow. This is the packaging, same as the blush, but just look at how pretty that is. I don't know if I'm sleeping on this formula or if it is just not that great. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. Go ahead and swatch it. That's a lot. So we will swatch her right here. I don't feel like that is too, too gold. It is a little more on the yellow side than what I typically go for. I like more champagne rose gold, but where's my brush? because we have to put some on. And I know I have some on already a little bit, but you know. Ooh, okay. That is definitely not too, too cool. Ooh, that is so pretty. And I didn't even put a lot. So just imagine how blinding this could be if you build it up. Up next, I picked up their Supernatural Lash. This says their Beyond Natural Thickness Ultra Black Mascara. I believe when I saw this, it says full fanned out impact, intense ultra black pigments, volumizing natural fibers. I think this is one of those silicone. Let me look at it. I hate, it says 12 months. Oh, I love this packaging. Super cute, has some embossing on it. So you can see the embossing there. And as far as the brush goes, no, this is just a regular brush, but it is a little 
different. It feels, it looks like it's almost stacked. I'm not gonna put it on right now because I already have a tubing mascara on, but I will definitely be keeping this out to try it soon as if I don't have enough mascaras out. But you know, already opened it and I'm curious. I'm trying to start using stuff when I get it to decide if I like it so I can give you guys updates and to decide if I'm gonna declutter it because I'm holding on to stuff I haven't even tried yet. Up next, I picked up their Perfectionist Lip Ultra Precision Pencil. This is in the shade Caffeine. And it says it's an ultra pigmented intense color payoff long wearing formula that won't budge and prevents feathering create sharp crisp lines and allows you to perfect your lip line lip pencil sharpens to a fine point for extreme precision i don't love sharpen not my favorite very simple packaging nothing to write home about and then let's check the color a normal standard wooden pencil but that is a really nice shade so i love shades like this make that a little bigger for you guys to see because it's not too brown and so i think it would look good with like a dark neutral probably would look good what i have on to be honest um a dark neutral lip or a lighter neutral lip so this is really good this is the shade that will definitely work for me. I also picked up one of their liquid set lipsticks. This is in the shade Chestnut. Sounds like she's deep. This literally looks like the Makeup by Mario packaging. Okay, so this is the Melt. And you can see right here how it has the little, I don't know if you can see through it or not, but how it has the little window where you can see the color. This is the packaging. And then I'm gonna show you the Mario. This is the Mario. So look at that, literally the same. Interesting. Okay, well, not mad at it if it works. What just came out? It looks like almost some oil or something just came out on my phone. Yeah, this is definitely a deeper shade, almost like a chocolate. It's almost like it's separated in the tube. What is happening? I love that shade though. Do I have to shake? Yeah, there's definitely something coming out from the cap, like a oil. Oh, it smells kind of chocolate. I don't know, but there's definitely something. I don't know if you can see that on the top of there coming out of the tube. How you see it looks a little wet. I don't know what that's from. Yeah, that swatch looks better. So definitely a chocolate neutral brown, which I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. So happy with the shade, even though it's probably something I won't wear until the fall. And last but not least, this has been something I have eyeballed forever and I finally decided to pick it up. I got the Smoke Sessions palette. Y'all know my love for green eyeshadows and I absolutely love Melt's formula. Do I have other Melt palettes that have green in them? Yes, I do. Does it matter? No, it doesn't because I wanted this one. I, mm, y'all, first of all, I don't care anything about 420, some weed, all that stuff, like to each their own. This is the packaging and then literally like these olivey shades right here of course and then just the pigment on their shimmers if you know melts cosmetics you know they do not play when it comes to their eyeshadow formula so i'm gonna go ahead do i want to swatch these i'm sure you guys have seen them but yes i still do so this is gravity og granddaddy black widow and sour diesel so those are the first four shades on the kind of gold neutral side. So yeah, Gravity OG right here. This is that kind of chunky metallic formula that works better when you rub it in. And then Granddaddy, oh, I love shades like that. Then Black Widow right here very flaky you can see it oh uh, i don't love that but i love the shade and i think this formula is worth it so whatever and then this last one is the matte in sour diesel which that is freaking gorgeous because it is a green 
but it is deep enough to give some dimension and some drama. On the opposite end of the spectrum with the greens, we have Blue Dream, Sweet Tooth, Mean Green, and Space Queen. So those are the four shades there. Look at that pigment. So this is Blue Dream. Mm. Super, super, super foiled and pretty. Then Sweet Tooth. I don't feel like these are as flaky as the other ones. And then Mean Green, a little bit of flakiness on that one. And then Space Queen, oh, that is so pretty. So those are the shades together there. I don't know what it is about a brand new eyeshadow palette, but I will always, always, always get super excited and amped, especially if it's greens. So up next, we have some products from Colored Rain, which I haven't shopped this brand in a minute, but they had a bundle that I got an email about and I was like, you know what? Time to start looking. All of this came in a bundle and I think it was like 45 bucks, which I was like, I'm gonna need you in my cart ASAP. So the first thing is one of their Lotus, Lip Lotus Lipsticks and it is their Satin Classic Lipstick in the shade Lotus. Easy enough. This is what it looks like, the packaging. I don't have any Colored Rain lipsticks. I don't have any Colored Rain <laughs> lipsticks. Always make that face because I'm like, do I? But no, I don't. This is the shade right here, y'all. This is literally my everyday shade. Every day. And I saw it and I was like, yep. Everything in this bundle was screaming, this is Barbara. And it was Mother's Day, so I decided to treat myself. The next product that came in the set is their Peach Rose Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Peach Rose. And this is what it looks like. So very gorgeous liquid lipstick. And it is in a nude shade. And this is what she looks like right here, which is also a very pretty shade. I love that it's not... <laughs> something else I want to put on my lips. I love that it's not too, too neutral. I, do, I love the peach. I love the undertone of this. So definitely a shade to wear for spring and summer. I don't know much about the formula, if this is going to dry down, is it going to be, it says that it's matte, but is it going to make your lips look all crusty? I don't know. The next thing is the Are We Clear Lip Gloss in the shade Are We Clear. So it is just a standard clear lip gloss. Very, very cute. I don't like using, I'm going to mess it up. These lips are cute today. I honestly don't think, I have like lip balms and stuff, but as far as just a regular plain clear lip gloss, I've never bought one. So thought that was something good to have in that kit. The next is their Decadent Lip Liner in the shade Decadent. I guess that's how they name their stuff. I don't know, or maybe it's because it came in the kit. This looks dark. It is a brown. This is the packaging. Everything is pink. And I guess because it said Rose Garden. Ooh, I think I'm going to love this shade. Yes, perfect. It is not too brown, but it is still dark enough. Baby, you are going in my purse right now. And then we have the eyeshadow palette that came with the set. And this is their Rose Garden eyeshadow palette. Very cute packaging. And this was absolutely my favorite of the two when they came out with this set. I love that it has this super dark, like these right here, perfect neutrals, has a green, love this shade. This would probably be the shade I wouldn't wear the most if there was one. So this is emerald rose and then gold rose and then bronze rose. I say that, but now looking at it, emerald, of course, we all know I would wear that. Hmm. I don't really wear shades like this on my eyes anymore. I don't love gold golds, but honestly, now that I'm looking at it, that bronze is actually really pretty. Or rose gold, what they call it? Bronze rose and then gold rose. And then we'll go ahead and swatch the mattes real quick. Make sure my fingers are dry. 
So we have chestnut rose. Ooh, that's pretty. Chocolate rose. And then rosewood. Oh, I love that shade. So those are the three there. And then do I have room to swatch? So here is the first shade, chestnut rose, which I love that you can see that. Yes, perfect dark brown. And then rose. Rosewood is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Next, because I bought this set, I forgot how much you had to spend to get this. But I also got a free brush set with my order. So these are all eye brushes and I've been really trying to expand my collection on eye brushes and use different brushes to see if there's a difference between high end and the more expensive ones. But so there are two brushes in this set that you can use for liner. So here are the first two. So this one, the bottom one is an angled liner versus the other one is more just a straight like precise liner is what they call it. And then these are your blending brushes. So there's a large blending, a mini blending, small blending, and a medium blending. Clearly all different sizes. So can never have enough blending brushes if you love to do eyeshadow looks. And then they have a round shadow brush, which would be used for putting your lid color or if you're carving out your brows or carving out your lid to do a cut crease. Next, I picked up their paint base. So it's an eyeshadow base. Most of the time I do use my concealer, but every now and then I go specifically for an eyeshadow base. And this one is in the shade Rope. This does have, it says squalene and sodium, hyal ooh, Lord, hyaluronate. Why do you need that in a eyeshadow base? I don't know, but... I guess that just means to say like it's not going to dry out your eyelids. So it's going to dry down, but that's what it looks like there. Ooh, she's light. Way lighter than I thought. Whoa. It's not white like the ABH one, but that is definitely lighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more neutral. So definitely going to have to be careful with that. I also picked up one of their bronzers. These have been out for a while, but I never picked one up. I picked up the Naughty Spice shade. This is the packaging for their bronzers. And okay, this is a decent shade. <laughs> I always tend to go a little crazy with my bronzer shades, but I think that this one is going to be a, oh yeah, she's gonna be a good shade. So not gonna be too, too dark, but I do feel like I'm gonna have to be careful. That feels very smooth. Like putting it on the back of my hand feels very, very smooth. And then last but not least from Colored Rain, I picked up <laughs> their Wealthy Chic Eyeshadow Palette. I don't think I had seen this one before and guess what color it is. So I was like, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do it. This is very, very pretty. And of course I could probably like dig in several different palettes and try to match these shades, but I'm a sucker for when everything is in one palette all together. So again, I love this formula and I was like, you know what? It is very hard for me to pass up <laughs> green eyeshadow. So let me get this other matte while I'm in here. Mm, mm, mm. I have seen too many monochromatic palettes that have like a color story, but a lot of the shades are so similar. It's like, why didn't they change? These are not too similar. These are not too similar at all. That is so pigmented. Look at that. Oh, I just love dark green shades like this and then little powdery, but we know Sometimes with shades like this, even still for it to show up. And then look at the pigment still on my fingers. Insane. Absolutely nuts. And then let's go ahead and swatch these two shimmer shades. I hope they're true shimmers and not toppers because I don't love toppers. Yes. Yes. Ooh, we got a duo chrome. Okay, so this is the white looking shade. What? Oh my God, that's gorgeous. And then here is the green. Is that a duochrome too? Kind of looks like it. 
So the first one is expensive. The second one is Tales from the Crypto. Take my money, Colored Rain. You can have it anytime. So I'm going to hurry up and try to watch the wipe these off because up next, y'all are going to think that I have lost my mind. And I may have, and it's fine because life's short. Enjoy it. That is what I'm telling myself. Less stress, more fun, and eyeshadow is my favorite. So this box right here <laughs> is eyeshadow. And this is from Clarity Cosmetics. There are a lot of singles in here. First of all, I lied because there are four brands in this video instead of three. I had some stuff in the box that I forgot about. So I bought some stuff from Unearthly Cosmetics. And I think, yes, so their name used to be Alien Cosmetics. Love their eyeshadows. It's an indie brand and I don't remember... I think one product came back in stock. That's what it was. One thing came back in stock. And then y'all know me. If I get a chance to buy some other stuff while I'm already shopping and I don't have to pay shipping or I'm going to pay the same price for shipping if I get more stuff or whatever else we use to justify why we do what we do, that's what we're going to do. So I bought a pair of lashes. I thought these were really cute. And this is like right up my alley. This is their Cherubic eyeshadow uh eyeshadow i'm already into the rest of the stuff eyelashes super cute natural looking wispy pair of lashes that i could see myself wearing pretty regularly and they look like they should be easy to put on so hopefully they are so this is also oh no okay wait never mind i need to be stopped this is five brands five because this is sugar drizzle and unearthly cosmetics so now we have another brand added so we are on unearthly let's stay with that i picked up their poison apple eyeshadow palette let me see why because honestly they always have so many oh yeah i remember why they always have so many color stories that i'm like eh, i'm not sure about that one and i couldn't remember what drew me in with this one but do we have an answer now do you think you can tell why I was drawn to this? Oh, I love eyeshadow. This shade right here in the middle. Y'all, I can't swatch all of this stuff like we will be here. Oh, it's a topper. Boo. Man. <laughs> why, though? I mean, it's still pretty. You can tell it is a multi-chrome or duo-chrome. Maybe multi. Super pretty, but... Mm. Hey toppers. Ooh, Black Diamond is pretty. Still a little flaky, but gorgeous shade. Fresh pick also looks like a duo chrome. Yeah, so that's like that green to red kind of shift. Love that. And then this is a satin. Granny Smith and Red Delicious are both satiny shades. Or, uh, Red Delicious is a satin, but it's coming off. That's Red Delicious. Yeah, she's a satin. That's pretty. And then that's Granny Smith. And then let's look at this yellow, golden, and then sour. We're not going to swatch them all. Those are the two of the mattes in the palette. You can see that is a bit powdery, but pretty pigmented for a yellow. And then the green. So that's not all the shades, but those are the ones that I was drawn to the most. This kind of reminds me one of Pat's like super pretty shades. You know her, what you call them? Celestial shades where it's like very flaky, kind of transforming to put on top of something else. I didn't expect that. So it's kind of like meh, but I'm sure it would be gorgeous. And it is definitely a multi-chrome. So love that at least. The next palette I picked up, this is the main reason why I went to their website. This is their Fall Magic Eyeshadow Palette. <sighs> I saw. Mm, this just makes up for everything. These shades, I feel like, yes, these are showing up correctly. <sighs> I have no words. Like, this is fall. This is absolutely fall, grungy, dark super pretty color story and that's what got me please do not be toppers of course i am 
Oh, thank you, baby Jesus. Oh, no. What is that? I tried to swatch. Change. Look at what happened. I just stuck my finger on top like I normally try to swatch. Come on. And it literally crumbled in the pan. So that shade is very soft and very crumbly. Let me be careful now. Here's leaves. Ooh, that is gorgeous. That's a multi-chrome. And magic is also a multi-chrome. I don't know what is up with that chain shade. I'm going to try to press that back in. Like, why does that look like that? This palette will be in the drawer and very careful with this is the autumn shade. Very flaky, but very pretty. Just nice shimmer shade. Not It looks a little multi-chrome the way the light hits it or duochrome, but I don't think it is. This is that chain shade. It's even on the back of my finger. Like, what is that? It's a very pretty shade. It looks... Does that look multi-chrome, duo-chrome to y'all? Is it shifting or is it just me? It looks like it's shifting a little bit. Ain't no question about it. This is Leaves and she is a shifter. She's a runner, she's a track star. She is gorgeous. Oh, look at that shine. Y'all, this will get me all day. And then this is Magic, which I think is also kind of multi-chrome-ish duochrome-ish, whatever you want to call it, but yeah, look at my fingers. So pretty. This is cashmere, and this is more of just like a standard kind of satin sheen formula. Super pretty. I don't know what is up with that chain shade. I don't love it because it has made a mess in my palette, and I'm like terrified to even sit this down too hard. Do y'all have this eyeshadow palette? Is it supposed to look like that? I'm trying to clean up a little bit of it. Um, this is Snug. These are all so powdery. Bonfire. See, those are the kind of shades. It's like they're so similar. Why do you need them both? That's Branch. And then this is the green, which is Earth. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. This is freaking insane. Absolutely pretty. I just, I have some of their other palettes and I just, I haven't used them yet. I don't even think I really swatched them. So I can't say how these compare to those, but it just feels like this is kind of messy. So hopefully using them with a brush, it won't be that bad. So now we move into Sugar Drizzle Cosmetics and I picked up their pickle. <laughs> I picked up their pickle palette. I'm blaming this on Lynette. It is her fault. She showed this palette and I was just like, yep, yep, I got to add it. Because why? <sighs> I feel like this kind of looks kind of boring, but I, it's not boring to me. I don't know. If you love greens, you get it. I have to swatch. So dill pickle in a pickle. This feels very soft. Tickle my pickle. Those are those shades there. We'll go ahead and swatch. That's why I said this video is going to be long. That is Dr. Pickles. Oh, I said Dill Pickle. Yeah, not that. Dr. Pickles. I'm in a pickle. Is that a topper? That's why she's soft. Yo, what is up with these toppers? It's a multi-chrome though. Like it's literally shifting from green to pink almost. Okay, and then Tickle My Pickle is a matte shade. I hope you can see the shift on that middle one. So this is Fried Pickles. Pretty, pretty. This is Pickle Juice, a little flaky, but you can see she is a multi duo, whatever. And then, oh yeah, love. Oh, she's flaky, but she's cute. And that is also another duo multi-chrome. Y'all know that that is why I wanted this palette. So that I cannot wait to use. I know y'all are like, how many greens does this girl need? 
I like trying different brands and I said that I was going to be more intentional with my purchases and support more indie brands this year. And of course, I'm going to go to eyeshadows. Next, I picked up their Sugar Drizzle palette. This is what it looks like. I feel like this was out of stock forever. This is all multi-chromes. Are we swatching all these? Sure, let's go ahead and do it. I say they're all multi-chromes, are they? So this is Sugar Spun. You can see the shift there. Oh, I'm getting excited already. Sugar Bear. Is that a multi-chrome? Mm, maybe just has like some gold reflect in it. This is Sugar Crush, that green to blue kind of sea foam. Sugar Cookie. Mm, maybe not so much duo chrome. I mean, green to blue still, but not as much of a shift as the others. And I'm just going to put these on the other side here. So this is Sugar Mama. That's the one that I said kind of feels like a gel. Then Sugar Bubbles. Another kind of toppery multi-chrome. And then we have Sugar Cube. This one's toppery too. I don't love this. Like they're really sticking on my fingers, but this is Sugar Me Sweet. Why did that just patch like that? Did I not put it all over my finger? Interesting. I don't see that shifting much. Maybe a little purple to blue. I feel like this is making a mess. Like they look super pretty in the palette. And then when you start swatching them, it's kind of like, oh, not bad, but not what I expected. So we'll just finish these here. Sugar, sugar, another topper. Sugar babes, another topper. Why? I mean, they're gorgeous. Like you see the reflex, but it's just like, man, I don't love Sugar and Spice, we do love her. And then Sugar Delight. <sighs> Maybe I should have, I still would have bought it. I ain't even gonna lie. I still would have bought it if I watch reviews because they are shifting shades, which I love. I just don't love toppers. That is just me. So it is what it is. Gorgeous shades. And I think they're all different or relatively different enough. They're different enough. Up next, I picked up their Sugar Drizzle Gnome Chrome Halloween eyeshadow palette. Let's look at it and see why, because eh, I, eh. <laughs> I think I was just buying stuff to get free shipping. If I even got free shipping, I don't know. But I do feel like there are some multi-chrome shades in here. I'm not going to swatch this one. There are, honestly, I don't want to because if there are a bunch of toppers, I'm going to be pissed off. So I hope you can see if there's any, this one looks like it's probably a shifty shade. This one down here, maybe this one too, but cute color story, purples, greens. I love this shade. I think it's going to be gorgeous. This is also, they're all like shimmer satin shades. There's no mattes in this palette, but I thought it was pretty. And I think this shade's supposed to be really gorgeous too. So that is that one. And now we get to move into the big mama. So I did go ahead and shop on Clarity Cosmetics website. I think I got a coupon for like 20% off. And so I bought a palette that I've been stalking and then I bought a bunch of singles. So hopefully... I don't know if I'm gonna have time to swatch them all, but I picked up the Bloom palette. Y'all, purple is my jam. Purple and blue, what color is this? Purple and blue. So this is not a new palette. I think it was out of stock and then it came back in stock. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I would definitely have to use this with, ooh, that looks like a multi-chrome. Um, I would definitely have to use this with a companion palette to have, well, I don't know, because that looks like it could be a pretty good neutral crease shade, even though it has a little bit of like a berry rose shade to it, but I think it could work. So I just wanted to have this palette because I think the color story is absolutely gorgeous. 
And then I picked up this big ass XL empty magnetic palette. So I can now put all of my singles in one big palette and not have to worry about going to different magnetic palettes to pick them up. These are all the singles. <laughs> So let me try to go through these quick. So this is a pressed single pan glitter eyeshadow. This is in the shade. It says they expire in 12 months. Ooh, these are big. This is Armadillo. So super, super pretty green. Now I see why this thing is so big. This is the shade Slate. I picked up mattes and I picked up shimmers. Slate is just a nice, gorgeous gray. I'm glad these colors are showing well because I really did not want to have to swatch all this. This is Glacier and it says it is a foiled shadow. Ooh, she's pretty. That is what she looks like there. It's kind of like a blue purple gray. This next one is a multi-chrome. I'm glad they put this on the back. This is in Blue Lagoon. Oh yeah, you can see it absolutely gorgeous this is a foiled shadow in penny champagne oh that is so pretty like a gorgeous kind of taupey silver shade silvery bronzy champagne as it says we'll put her in the middle this next one is a duochrome in twin oh gotta be careful with these this one's kind of messed up so this is this shade here you can definitely see the shifts this next one is a foil shadow in the shade purple rain such a gorgeous purple it almost looks blue not a multi-chrome but Oh, that is so pretty. Next, I have a pressed pigment in Bloodlust. She is a matte. Super gorgeous kind of red, bronze, not bronze, brown, red, brown, terracotta shade. This is a duo chrome. It says these expire in 12 months, and this is in the shade Aurora. So hope you can see the shifts in this one I don't really see it as much as I saw the other ones oh maybe a little bit it's kind of like a seafoam green maybe a peach underneath I don't know if you can see that I can see it a little bit though next we have blue ice which is a foil <sighs> cool toned blue are all blues cool toned? Is there a warm blue? I don't know, but this looks gray blue. So then this is a foiled shadow in Vintage Storm. This shade is so pretty. Like I could see this being like a super foiled, gorgeous, like glam, glittery, sparkly, all over the lid goodness. Next we have a foil shadow in Cyclone. Okay, she's different enough. I was about to say, come on, Barbara. Super pretty, kind of grungy if you don't want to go too light on the lid, but still want that shiny impact. Then we have Bora Bora, which is just a foiled shadow, gorgeous blue. It's not a multi-chrome, but she's, I don't know if it's just the way the light's hitting it, but she's giving me a little shiftiness. Then we have Snatched which is a, I think, foiled press pigment. So this is weird because this one's not filled to the top like the other one was. Like you can see, I hope you can see the lip. Like it's not pressed all the way to the top. You can still see some of the pan and it feels lighter, but whatever. Foiled press pigment, super pretty kind of rose gold shade. Then this is a press pigment. Did I get the same thing twice? No, I did. I don't know how I got bloodlust twice. I guess I'm gonna put this one back in the pack and she can be for a giveaway because I don't need two of the same shades. 
Um, the next one is Clear Waters, and she is a foiled shadow. Why did I get so many blues, Lord? Y'all swear I wear a lot of blue eyeshadow. I think it's just something about the way they look in the pans that just draws me to them. Next is a matte. This is on the, what? On to the next. I think this would be a super pretty transition shade for a cool toned look, leaning purple. Couple more, then we have Unicorn Tears, which is a foiled multi-chrome and she feels very flaky, but my goodness, look at that. can definitely see how she is shifting so gorgeous and then last but not least this is a pressed pigment in serpent and this was just I was like Barbara get a regular transition shade so nice neutral crease color maybe a little white honestly oh maybe not no she's not too light okay no, not at all. Okay. All right. Well, that answered that. So is that it? Let me make sure I don't throw anything away. That is it. So that is the end of this haul. Super eyeshadow heavy. My favorite thing. I've been sitting on this box for a minute because I knew it was going to take a while to film. And I thought I was going to swatch everything. But I think you guys got a good idea of what the shades look like. And they are gorgeous. I will end this video there. Gonna go play in these a little bit. Got a shadow to add to a giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know if you've tried any of these brands. What's your favorite? What do you wanna see first? And if you're new, I hope you hit that subscribe button. I will see you in my next video. Bye.